Well, howdy again everyone, and today I'm checking out something quite interesting, another Viltrox lens, their new 85mm f1.8, and this is their autofocus 85mm lens, which is currently only available on Fuji's X-mount APS-C cameras. It's currently available for about $380, or around £330 in the UK, and I'd like to thank Viltrox for sending me a copy of this lens for testing, although as usual, this is a fully independent review. This is only the second Viltrox lens I've handled, and also it's the first time I've reviewed a third party lens on my Fuji camera which has autofocus, so I can't wait to find out how it performs. On Fuji's APS-C cameras, its focal length is the full frame equivalent of about 130mm, with a depth of field of about f2.8, so this is your classic telephoto portrait lens, great for getting quite tight shots of all kinds of different subjects, and getting you very out of focus backgrounds. And the actual aperture of f1.8 lets in lots of light, for shooting in dark situations. This lens has autofocus, a camera controlled aperture mechanism, and gives EXIF information, but it is not image stabilised. Let's start by looking at its build quality. First thing that jumps out is that this lens is physically impressive. For an APS-C camera lens, it's very large, even bigger than this full frame Canon optic. Its large front glass element is beautiful to see, and the lens's body is made of metal, feeling seriously tough. It's so large that I let my curiosity get a hold of me, and took the unscientific step of snuggling it into the lens mount of my full frame Sony a7R2, using my elite hacksaw skills. As you can see, the lens's image circle does in fact cover a full frame sensor, there's some vignetting in the corners at f1.8, but stop down to f4 or so and you essentially get full coverage except for this little bit here, probably due to the incompatible camera mounts. Obviously, I can't do a full image quality test like this though, we'll have to wait and see if Viltrox produce an E-mount version of the lens. So, that's interesting, bearing in mind the smaller APS-C sensor of the Fuji X system, Viltrox's approach here has advantages and disadvantages. A full frame lens is bigger and more expensive to produce, of course, but on an APS-C camera, we should see greatly reduced vignetting and greatly reduced cat's eye bokeh shapes in your image corners. Well, we'll see more about image quality in a minute. The lens's only control point is a manual focus ring, which, as usual, is electronically coupled to the lens's focus motor. It turns very smoothly and works nice and responsively. The lens's autofocus motor is silent in use, but it's not the fastest or most positive autofocus system. It missed or hunted occasionally when I was using it for sample pictures, but on the whole it was reliable enough, hitting the mark most of the time. The lens has a 72mm filter thread and comes with a somewhat shallow lens hood. Overall, its build quality is fantastic, although one of Fuji's official lenses will give you a slightly more confident autofocus experience. Alright, let's look at image quality now. I'll be testing it on my 24 megapixel Fuji X-T20. At f1.8, we see good but not perfect sharpness in the middle of the image, and contrast is just average. The corners look a little softer. They're sharper at f2.8, and the middle of the image is impressively sharp now. From f4, we see perfect sharpness in the middle of the image, and very good sharpness in the corners. Stop down to f5.6 and those corners get even better, and they stay that sharp down to f11 or so. Overall, it's quite a good performance for the Viltrox lens on a 24 megapixel APS-C camera. I have seen sharper lenses than this before, but really, for portrait photography it's more than good enough. Let's look now at vignetting and distortion. The lens projects a slight pincushion distortion, some portrait photographers consider this a bonus, as it can make your subjects look a little thinner. And, as you'd expect from a full frame lens on an APS-C camera, no vignetting is really visible, even at f1.8, another very nice bonus. This lens can focus as closely as about 55cm to your subject, 
which is nicely closer than usual for an 85mm optic. Good news is that image quality remains quite sharp, even at close focus distances and even from f1.8. Stop down to f2.8 for just a little more contrast. Next, work against bright light. The lens trips up a bit here. Bright lights will introduce a lot of glaring and flaring into your picture, reducing contrast. It would be good if the lens had come with a deeper hood. And finally, bokeh. That is a strength of this lens, those out of focus backgrounds always look nice and smooth to me. It's helped by the fact that the image circle is so big. As I mentioned before, you don't really see any cat's eye shape to bokeh highlights in the corners of your images, which is a great advantage. And related to bokeh is longitudinal chromatic aberration. Here you can see some pretty obvious colour fringing on the outer focus highlights at f1.8, f2.8 sees it reduced and f4 reduced again. Overall, the Viltrox 85mm f1.8 autofocus lens for Fuji is a great option for Fuji X system camera owners, an accomplished and interesting portrait lens. It might not be the sharpest lens in the universe, but its optics do perform pretty well generally, and its low vignetting and very nice out of focus backgrounds give it a little advantage. Its build quality is lovely, and its price of $380 is good value for an autofocus lens of this standard, so it's quite easy to recommend this lens to Fuji camera owners.